This is my uh, T-Max 3.3. It's more than a few years old. And it's got to be at least, I, I, I think I might have had it for at least six years at this point. Um, it's got some upgrades on it. I changed upper and lower control arms to aluminum, put aluminum skid plates on it. Uh, looks like I've got one steel drive shaft in the front, plastic in the back. I know I used to have two steel drive shafts, but obviously that was short lived. I put a high torque uh, steering servo on it. Just as things broke, I kind of upgraded and fixed it. Anyways, um, oh, I got aluminum bulkheads on it too. Yeah, front and rear aluminum bulkheads. Cool. Okay, so <clears throat> aftermarket exhaust, I guess. The issue here, um, this is why it was put away. Uh, I haven't pulled this thing out in, oh, it's been, it's been a long time, more than a few years. The engine was locked tight last time I used it. Um, there was a good, uh, a, a good audible click, and then it hasn't moved since. I'm sure connecting rod or crank or who knows what, it's toasted. I'm not even thinking about that thing. So I ordered some parts, finally. Something has motivated me to continue along with this toy. Um, I had to replace, well, I have to replace some shocks. I don't know. Those ones are okay. It's here. The, uh, one of the shock bodies broke open once and all the fluid came out because there wasn't a whole lot of shock left in it. So I, or anyways, they were full set. So that's fine. I ordered a new engine for it and it should have a pull start on it as well looks like it does that's awesome because that it's going to be a lot easier than dealing with electric start um two bags of just assorted screws to reassemble this baby because i know some of the screw heads were getting kind of worn down and stripped so it's time to replace those uh glow plug for the new engine and a as close to factory pipe that i could find uh, I guess it was kind of slim pickings, but this will definitely have to do. Um, so at least it'll pour it up the side now, like kind of like it used to. But, uh, well, whatever. So number th number one thing I want to do is start stripping this thing down and clean it. Because it is filthy and dirty and disgusting, and I may find more things that need to be, have attention brought to them as time goes along here. But I'm going to start by uh, just disassembling and cleaning this sucker. the motor apart just to see what's what if you can see inside there rotate it a little bit plenty of metal shavings floating around there's some chunks I'm just gonna assume that's bad There's the top of the piston. I don't know that this is going to show up on the camera. There's a, actually a crack in it, and it's bubbled up. Cool. Well, I got that motor fully disassembled. It took a little bit of force because it was not exactly cooperative. So here's what I found. That's the connecting rod. What's left of it. I'm gonna say that the wrist pin um, obviously let loose, and then the um, when the wrist pin snapped, I think it got wedged inside the cylinder sleeve or whatever you want to call this guy, and locked the piston at the top of the rotation. And then the connecting rod pulled back down and just pulverized and <laughs> punched it into place. Yeah, well. The whole thing's gone. There were shavings inside this motor like crazy, so I'm not uh, going to be reusing anything. You can see the 
all this shit in there. Now it's dirty, if, if, if you can't already tell. Uh, so what that means is it was running. I broke the motor in. Uh, I did run five tanks of gas through it. I'm probably going to take it easy on the next couple tanks as well. Um, now, I was basically following what it says to do. The fifth tank is uh, quite a bit of open throttle running, you know. <laughs> so I was having a bit of fun while I was doing that. I ended up, of course, breaking more things than just breaking in the motor. Um, the There's, I think, four, seven screws that hold the transmission casing uh, to the body of the truck, or to the frame of the truck. And I know mine were loose, so when I put them in, when I was reassembling everything, I felt it, and I kind of said, well, we'll see what happens. Um, eventually, that caught up with me. What happened then is the... Uh, casing of the transmission basically lifted off of the frame of the truck or the the chassis of the truck uh, when it did that it started slipping uh, on my on that plastic drive gear for the trans so it ate the gear okay whatever that's three bucks or something not a problem um, but just prior to that I had adjusted the clutch I had loosened the clutch actually so the slipper clutch here so it was actually slipping uh, much easier than it ever has before but I didn't want to break any driveline components you know it's just trying to break the damn thing in and there was one point where it kind of stopped moving this was before the tooth was was chipped there so I, I look I went over and you know the what I thought was exhaust was coming out of it but actually it was the old clutch disc or the old uh, slipper clutch disc and the pads one of them broke and it was just they were smoking like crazy and it actually scored the metal there uh, so I figured you know what for a few bucks I'll get a replacement get a new clutch for this uh, and then I can at least have something that's gonna be a fair bit more reliable so anyway back to the transmission casing the issue that caused it to kind of chew that gear apart um, like I said it lifted off because the plastic threads were basically just worn or, uh, no longer present from over tightening it because that's my my problem I don't know what the torque was supposed to be and I obviously had overdone it at one point or another but that, you know what that's okay so I grabbed a, a hand tap I use this at work all the time and some uh, some 632 by 2 inch machine screws if you're an electrician, you'll recognize this. That's the screw that holds the device into the box. So I have an abundance of them. So this was a pretty easy fix for me. So those machine screws that originally come with uh, this truck physically are, are almost the same size. Here, I can get a little comparison here. The diameter of the screw that I'm using compared to the diameter of the new screw that I used they're very similar. Obviously, the new one's a bit, lar bit larger, excuse me, which gives me the ability to tap a new hole with new threads that match this pattern, and then run those screws right into the bottom of the trans. So now I've got seven screws that are holding that thing in, and they actually pass uh, where they can. I made some long, some short. They go right up through the base of that transmission, so they're really holding it down now. If in the future those should work their way loose, I can simply install a nut on top and run them down and it'll pinch that sucker and it'll, it'll never come off. I'll eventually destroy the casing uh, or I'll shred the internals of it. But. Mm -hmm. 